Hey everybody, I'm working on the elevator right now. Um, I just wanted to show you, this is only a few minutes into it, but I was just trying to see fitting wise how their pieces fit into the actual um, pre-bent parts that came. And they are all so snug and fit so well. And it feels like cheating when I'm building this airplane because I watched my dad build his that took thousands of hours. And these things all fit together perfectly the first time. And it's a lot of fun, you can really get a lot of uh, uh, progress without having to put too much work in. I think I'm about 40 or so hours into the build, I'll have to double check. But it's been really fun. This is the actual piece that came with it. And uh, it is pre-cut and pre-formed. And here are the, the plans and how I'm going to make it all uh, turn into an elevator. But it's uh, going well so far. I'll keep you posted on how the elevator build goes. Very quickly after looking at the plans, I realized I needed to build the control horn first, which includes this black uh, powder-coated steel piece, and then uh, drill in the uh, rib bits for the elevator. So it'll end up going here, and it will make the elevator go up and down when you push on this uh, black piece right here. So it's looking pretty good. With the control horn drilled in Clico, I turned my attention to uh, making the skin for the elevators. It really only takes uh, marking it with a pen and cutting it, but it's actually kind of a an odd angle because it's a triangle at three different uh, dimensions that goes by. So I started cutting it with my tin snip shears, and uh, I was getting kind of a uh, little divots and, and wrinkles of the aluminum I didn't like. So I went ahead and uh, called my A&P and I asked him what to do. He said, cut off you know, an inch away, then cut off half an inch, then a quarter inch, then an eighth an inch. And at the end, the less material you'll actually be pulling off will make it um, the, the, the finished material on this side. Uh, it'll look incredible because it's not going to be warping it with, with putting all that stress on there. So I'm going to go back and start doing that and uh, I'll show you what it looks like when it's done.